um, yeah. But yeah. There's two versions of you as well, though, because I find when things get really tough, I've got the version of me that says, you know, you've already done really well and wherever you're coming, maybe fifth, well, that's better than you expected. So just ease off a little bit mm. and it's okay to have a quick walk. And, and then there's the other version of you that is like, don't be ridiculous, you don't walk. You know, there's no reason why you should walk, just ignore the pain, keep going, You've, you know, there is a plan and then back to the other side that says, okay, slow down a little bit, it hurts. And so it's constant battle with like an angel and a demon on your shoulders. And who's the angel? The one <laughs> the that's looking after you. <laughs> the one that keeps going. Yeah. And, yeah, and the demon yeah. is the one that wants you to, says it's okay to stop and walk just for two minutes. Right. And it's that, you're just constantly having that battle. And do you think that that's, because I mean, you're operating at the top level, Meredith. Um, do you think that's the difference when somebody actually gets to that point of that high performance thing? Is it the mental battle? I've often heard it is, yeah. you know, and that ability yeah. to actually manage that, that self talk, I guess. Is that right? Look, there's a lot of athletes at, at the top of their game who are just brilliant, natural athletes. Mm. And then there's, you know, they're the Chrissy Wellingtons in our sport and the Pete Jacobs. And, and then there's the other athletes who are just so focused and that mental tenacity. Mm. And they might not have as much talent as the others, but they make up for it with just that mental toughness. Mm. And they, they're the ones who I think who do better when things aren't going right on the day than the mm. ones who have the natural talent. 